Hey everybody, welcome to the second Kenshi modding video tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to make your own weapon, your own weapon manufacturer, and yeah that's it. Obviously in the next video I'll show you something else. Uh, before we begin, 1080p full screen, best way to do it. It looks extremely great. I'm recording with ZD software. And um, I did record it with ZD software in my first video tutorial, but I put True Movie Maker, and it absolutely screwed it over. Um, guys, I I know you guys don't have to comment or like or whatever, but if anyone out there who's watching knows a better thing to use than Movie Maker, I mean, please, please tell me, because I don't want to sit here and wait for an hour and a half for a video that's only going to be 40 megabytes when... Whenever I record these videos with ZD software, they're only 8 megabytes. It's like using an extreme compressed version of Fraps. That's awesome. And I really love the software. However, it does lag my computer a lot more because it uses a codec, and that's why it's so, you know, compressed. Anyways, I'm going to begin by showing you how to make your own sword of whatever kind. Say you want to make a katana, just for an example. You can duplicate the item, rename it to whatever you want. As you can see up here, I could call it Dark Wind. Press Enter, and it changes right here. Now, I can also change the damage. Now, if you haven't been checking, and now if you haven't realized this by now, when while you're modding, this displays a lot of valuable information that you will want to read. It can tell you exactly where the cut damage modifier can go from and to. The maximum cut damage multiplier I can put onto the sword is 1.5. The minimum is 0 0.5. You want it to be 1 and above. So let's put 1.5, which means it's the strongest sword in the game. I mean, seriously, it's the strongest sword in the game. Now you're saying, well, is that it, Darren? Yes, it is. Because you already have every file put onto there. I will show you later how to put that on there yourself and where to find it. But right now, we're just going to go for a quick how to copy it, make it your own, make it stronger, etc. So now that you've made Dark Wind or whatever sword or whatever you call it, now you want to make a ma manufacturer that will fit that sword's criteria, such as if the sword is a level 10. And so that person should be level 10 skill to use it in that particular skill that it's used for. Because in here, as you can see, you can change the skill that's uh, being trained with. You can also train, say, if this weapon can be used to block. I mean, if it's like a tiny dagger, like if you are seriously making a dagger, which I give you credit if you can actually make a sword that acts like a dagger or something, then you would want to put can block off. You can give your sword a description, change its length. I don't know exactly what's that for. I've never had to change it, and there's no option. Oh, right there is. Okay, anyways. This is what it attaches to. Yes, you can actually make it attach to your legs and everything else, but you won't really be able to use it. You can also scale it. Give it the I the inventory icon, which is the picture that it uses. This is how it looks in your thing. Now, I don't really screw around with this because this is what matters right here. It's going to be only one block thick and seven blocks long. And so if you want to be say two blocks thick, which will fit in your weapon one slot, and this ten or whatever the maximum is, it will do that. So Let's go back, ma uh, back to making your weapon manufacturer. Your weapon ma manufacturers range from level 1 to level 70. You can make your own level or weapon manufacturers by either duplicating or starting a new item. I suggest a new item because duplicating really doesn't matter. Now, you can call your uh, weapon manufacturer anything. Be creative. This game inspires you to be creative. I can call it Tits, Mick, Gee, Shibby, Knuckles, and it works. Why? Because I said so. You can give your company a description of how they make their weapons if they're absolute garbage or absolutely great. The overall level can be aimed from 1 to 100. If you make a weapon level, or an overall weapon manufacturer with level 100, that means usually the person has to be level 100 skill. Now that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Because even the level 1 character, if you give this to him, can wield it. As long as it's light. Now, you can add the cut multiplier. And here you have no restrictions. 
you can go from zero to that number. So I'm just gonna say a hundred. Now, and you can add change the minimum damage cut. Uh, don't bother. I don't really bother with that. And weight modification. Obviously, you want it to be as light as possible. Now we're not done. We have to add what your weapon looks like. Your weapon can look like a piece of shit, or a defined, refined, beautiful work of art that katana is, even though it is a very deadly weapon. So I'm going to go with MKV because I like the look of that one. And of course, there are lots of others to choose from. Don't worry. Now we have to add the weapon type, Dark Wind. But we're not done. Oh no, not yet. If you noticed, over here you have categories. This is how it categorizes it, as you can see. You want to keep it categorized at all times. Now over here you see 1, 2, and 3. 3 does nothing. and But 2 brings up 100 as 1 brings up 0. Why does, it, why does 2 bring up something, you may say? Well, for a lot of items you can click on the number 2, and this will happen. Say I add another weapon model, say MKIV. Instead of having 100 or 100, it can be 50. 50. This gives me a chance that Dark Wind, if it was put into the game, which you can do, will either have a 50-50 shot of being the model type MKIV or MKV, obviously. Because it does say down here, if you click on it, the base weapon mesh to use, value 2 equals chance. So, obviously, that means every value 2 means chance. This means number. So, like I said before, 50-50 shot, level 100. Now you've made your own ma manufacturer. Um, that's really all you have to do to make a manufacturer, because that's all is here. See, a top manufacturer that makes extra heavy weapons for the strong Kenshi. You can put your weapon models and weapon types. Now, I, I don't know why they have like 10, 20. Supposedly, that's the overall weapon modification. So that means you can add even more modification to your sword. I don't bother with it. I don't think you should either. If you're, especially if you're just going to make like a single sword with just a single texture pattern. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own item without copying it. First, you right click and press new thingy. Item. Yeah. And then model after something here. Let's say I'm going to make a topper. So I want to call it Um, orange, yeah, orange, sorry guys, my spelling is off today, orange banana titties, and you have orange banana titties, you add whatever mul multiplier you want, I'm going to put 1.3, and actually add blunt modifier of 1.2 now we have to find the files obviously right now it's just an invisible sword that can't do shit we have to give it a bear sword this is called blade so we're going to go look for blade no I don't mean the vampire hunter I mean the actual sword <laughs> so as you can see in your list of meshes it goes from pretty much everything of course right now uh, Mr. Deathbeard only has one mesh for everything, because obviously he hasn't made any new weapons for uh, the game. Like I said, if you want to make your own swords in the game, like actual own swords that look like Cloud Strifes or Sephiroth's or uh, any cartoon character that you like, like the freaking Keyblade for fuck's sakes, all you have to do is get a copy of uh, 3D Max. Uh, student edition because you're a student unless you're an adult using it for a company and I doubt you are if you're using that to mod but anyways you can use that or any treaty system that works with Ogre and you can develop your own meshes now I've never done that before I'm not a treaty artist I plan to be maybe when I'm older right now I'm only 16 that's all I can do so we add the meshes the icon I can actually make it look whatever, like whatever I want it to. However, if I make the mesh into that, 
it's not going to look like that. Only the inventory item will. So let's make it like a blade, obviously. Another mesh. The physics fall. Which you have a broader range to choose from. You can actually make it like a chopper or anything, really. However, if you're, you know, I'm not saying don't do it. I suggest you experiment wholeheartedly with this game. However, I'm just going to keep it true and blue. And now we add the sheet. We're done. Well, not really. We actually have to ha say what it's going to look like in our inventory. And the value. As well as the weight. This stuff. And now we're done. Really. You can keep the length of it anything you want. You can make it absolutely ridiculous range. However, the sword will not be that long. The sword stays to its mesh fall. So if the sword is only two inches long, <laughs> like your penis, <laughs> sorry about that, I joke. But anyways, if the sword is that small, you can put a length of a bajillion on it, or whatever number this can reach to. And it will reach all across the screen, but you will never see it. However, it will hit all of your enemies. And now we're done. Officially. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope this helped you understand a little bit more. In the next video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your own armor. That actually works, as well as colorizing it. Attachments, there is none. Containers and materials, I'm not bothering with. Um, I will show you how the global game settings work and how they can be modified to your advantage. And I'm going to show you maybe how to put a person into the game. That is extremely dangerous and it can crash your system. I'm just going to say that now. Anyways, good day.